nothing like a quick dance around the kitchen to get your energy flowing and your heart rate up and fill yourself full of good mojo for the day. Love that song. Don't think I quite did it justice the way Cameron Diaz did though. Perhaps uh, a little truer to the subject matter, maybe. It seems that everywhere I look these days, everybody's talking about butts. Thanks to Kim Kardashian, butts are big and butts are in. But there's one kind of butt you don't ever want to have. And that's the kind of butt where you are giving yourself a get out of jail free card, an excuse to fail before you try, or a simple apology for, to yourself for not doing, being, or having all that you could have been in that moment. Do you know the kind of big butt I'm talking about? It's the one where you say, I'm gonna exercise every day this week, but um, well, I've got an early start on Tuesday, so I don't know if that'll happen. Ah, oh, I'm gonna go dairy free, but uh, I'm not sure what I'll do about my cappuccino. Or you say, oh, I'm going to get up early every day this week so that I can meditate, but um, well, Tuesday night I've got a really late night, so mm, I don't know what will happen on Wednesday, but I'm gonna try. But I'm gonna try. But I'm gonna try. That is the kind of big but you never want to have in your life. Because unless you're going to do something with all of your commitment and all of your energy, don't bother. What you don't wanna do is set yourself up for failure and make excuses before you even start by putting that big butt in the way of your success or your progress. So here's the thing to do. Next time you set out to do something, make a decision and ask yourself, is this something I'm committed to? Is this something I want to do? Or am I just gonna try? Because if all you're gonna do is try, you've already failed. Now, once you know that it's something you do want to do, what I want you to do is listen out to your internal dialogue, or external dialogue for that matter, to the language you use when talking about this. And if you hear yourself say, but, that's a big warning. It's a big warning that something else is going on for you here. So what you need to do is examine your butt. <laughs> now, not in the mirror by taking selfies, or I hear there's a new thing called a belfie, which is a butt selfie, go figure. But you need to examine that butt and ask yourself, what is really going on for me here? When I say I want to do this but, what excuse am I making with that but? Why am I giving myself this get off scot-free opportunity? Why am I apologizing for failing before I've even begun? And you'll find your but, your big but, usually stands for one of three things. Either what you've set out to do is what I call a coulda, woulda, shoulda goal. So it's something you think you should be doing, but you don't really want to, or you don't really feel committed to. So what you're really trying to say is, oh, this is a nice idea and it's something I, I feel like I should be doing, but gosh, I find it really hard to motivate myself or commit myself to. And that's absolutely fine. But don't set it as a goal and then make buts for your excuses for getting out of it. The other thing that goes on for people is that they have a fear or an uncertainty about the outcome. And so putting that butt in place is a way of protecting yourself from your fear. Instead of saying to yourself, gosh, I really want to do this. And you know what? <gasps> I feel a bit scared about what the impact of doing this could have on my life. But you know what? I'm going to go for it and I'm going to deal with my fears as and when they happen. So that's the second thing. We're using but as a way of protecting ourselves from fear. And then the third reason we're using but is to protect ourselves from a lack of self-belief. We don't actually believe we can do, be, or have whatever it is we're setting out to intend. And so we're apologizing to ourselves for the fact that we don't really think 
that we're worth it. You don't really think that you deserve that. Well, let me tell you, you absolutely do. So next time you find yourself saying but, what I want you to do is rephrase what you've been saying and use affirmative language. Say, I have, I do, I will, I am. Really positive, affirmative statements of your intent. And once you've done that, you can watch your intentions and your actions become more aligned than ever before. And for once and for all, you can let your big butt get out of the way. I'm Dominique Bertolucci and you've been watching DBTV, the place to go to feel good about who you are and the life you live. If you like this, subscribe and share it with your friends. I'll be back again next week with another episode of DBTV and until then, take care and remember, it's not about having it all. It's about having the things that matter.